Hi parents. Um, this is just a really quick video so you know what we're going to be doing during ES1. It's going to be a little bit different. First of all, we're going to do it every day so there's a routine. I think that might be easier for some of our kiddos. Then um, it's a smaller group so we are going to individualize it a little bit more. Um, and we are gonna work on some really specific skills that are on the IEP during the class time. So what I would like you to do is to gather some material now that you can bring to class. And what I thought would be fun is if you just put it in their backpack so that you could even tell them, go get your backpack, it's time for Zoom class. And they would be a little more independent and proactive with it. Okay, so I have a list of um, things that we're going to put into our backpack. And I've got them typed up, so I'll make sure that I send them home or um, I email them to you. So the first email you're gonna get has a lot of stuff on it. It's got the handbook, it's just things that you, for information and to go through, but it'll also have, um, this and it says things needed for summer school. And the first thing, if you have some kind of blocks, um, I don't care how big they are, smaller would probably be easier since we're gonna put them in our backpack. Um, and if you have them in different colors, that would be preferred. Um, you could do Duplos or Legos, anything that you have that we could build with. And we are going to, um, we're going to do a lot with the blocks. We're going to um, do some imitations. So we might say, let's see if we can build a tower together. Okay, so we'll build a tower. And then instead of a tower, we might say, can you lay your tower down and make a line? Can you put one on top? So those are nice imitation skills. We can also, um, if we have matching cups, we can work on our matching goals. Okay, um, if you don't have cups that match, um, I know that um, Dixie makes bowls <laughs> that are primary colors or just a piece of paper. You can cut it out and make it a circle, so, or just, leave it a rectangle and then they can just match the color to the paper. Um, the next thing I'm going to ask for is an ice cube tray, which would be better. I didn't have one, but I had cupcake tins. That would work just as well. It's just bigger. Um, and then we're gonna put in, we're gonna work on just one. Put just one in each, okay? And then that's a nice way to count. How many do you have? One, two. You take out just one. There you go. Okay, so um, the, these are things we're gonna start with. If we master them, we'll move on. Um, the next thing is a writing book. Now, What I would like is 19 pages, so we have a page for each day because I'm so optimistic everybody's coming for every day. Now, maybe put something fun on top of it and they can color it so it's, it's a little more eye appealing. Um, and if we start with scribbling, that's fine. If we scribble every day, at least we are holding the crayon and practicing every day. Um, you know, we start crawling before we can walk and we're going to scribble before we can write, but we are going to write. So we'll start with that and, and maybe we can go down, 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 or we can start, if we've got that, we'll move on to a letter of our first name. If we have a child that likes more cutesy, fun things to write on, um, I have 
a napkin. And I, there's cute napkins out there now. I just don't seem to have one. But um, you can make a little book out of it. Or a greeting card. Just put the paper, 19 pages in there. And then they've got a little book. The only thing with this is they write smaller, which some children like that, some don't. Um, as long as they're writing, I, that's all, that's my goal. So we are going to work on those skills. We'll work on cleaning up. We'll put it all back in our backpack after we're finished. Now, during school, when we do something that's hard, we usually give them some kind of reinforcer. So the easiest thing is a reinforcer that they will eat and it's all gone. So one, one raisin, good job, put it back. Let's work for another one. If they're beyond that, if they can do it, work for a thumbs up for a good job, that's great. Don't go back to a, a concrete reinforcer. Sometimes we use like Play-Doh or um, a preferred toy. If it's a little fiddle toy, put it in something like this. Um, it's just once you give it to them, you don't want them to have it more than a minute or two. And then you say three, when I count to three, you're gonna be all done, it'll be my turn. One, two, three, my turn. Let's put it in. And we're gonna work again. Um, so it kind of helps you encourage them to do the things that are harder or not as, as exciting. Um, the last thing is if you have this from last month, this is our guessing game. And I would like you to find it if you can. If not, we'll come up with something else. But we have a little airplane and we hide the airplane behind the train, behind the bus, behind the car. And then they can guess where it is. If you have it, then they can point to it on the paper and that's way easier than trying to point to it when I show you. Um, if you don't have it, you can use the real objects that would be even better for some of our friends. Or you can just get different pictures of cars and trains or draw it yourself. Doesn't have to be the same. It would be actually great if they could generalize that a car doesn't, it doesn't have to be this car when we talk about a car. So we will play this game. Um, I want to do the same songs, the same games, the same routine so that we get more children participating with hand motions and imitating. So um, that's kind of my goal for the next month. If you have any specific thing you wanna work on, let me know. I think after the first email, everything is gonna be put on Class Dojo. Everyone is signed up on Class Dojo, um, but I don't know that everybody has actually used it. Um, I don't think everybody's posted. I, my, I would love to see everybody post at least three times a week. So um, if you don't know how to do it or if you're not sure, it, we can help you with that. Just let us know. And you can post uh, doing one of the activities we put on, the, um, on Class Dojo. You can post doing the um, packet that we, um, we sent home. And we will put this up um, in the email too. But any of these things, we'd love to see a picture of you doing it or just email or just write a little note about how it went. They liked this, they didn't do this, they enjoyed it, doing this. Um, I've gotten um, messages with um, 
you know, the child dancing with one of the songs we've done. Um, anything that you, they're doing, we would love to see. And then all the teachers get to see too, Ms. Hayal and um, the OT, if it's an activity for OT or if they're um, talking or communicating, the speech teacher will get to see it. So it's really important that we communicate that way, especially if we don't get to go back in September. Um, this is going to be how we're going to be communicating. So it's great practice right now. Hopefully we'll be back, but um, we don't know for sure. So let us know if you need help using um, the posting part of Class Dojo. It's a lot like attaching an email or putting something on Facebook. So I know you can do it. Um, and we have our IT person who's great and he's really good with helping. So look for the email. Um, it'll have what we need for class. I'm hoping we have great attendance and um, we are doing some posting so we get to see how you're doing. So we'll see you Monday in class um, with Ms. Hayel. Thanks, bye.